Today we'll be talking about how to create mathematical models of control systems. We'll start with considering a simple linear translational system having a spring, a mass, and a damper. We apply a force F to this mass and measure its position X. We would like to write down a simple mathematical expression that would govern the dynamics of this system. And we'll do so by applying Newton's laws. So consider this mass M. According to Newton's laws, the sum of all the forces acting on that mass would be given by the mass times its acceleration. And the acceleration is nothing but the second derivative of its position. The other forces acting on that mass will be given by the input force F in, the spring force Kx, and it's minus because it, it would always oppose the input force F in, and a damping force that will be given by the damping coefficient multiplied by the velocity, which is x dot. Rearranging all of this, we get mx double dot plus bx dot plus kx equals f in. This is a linear second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. And we'll discuss how to solve these in future lectures. Similarly, we can also consider a, a rotational a mechanical system, where instead of a spring mass and a damper, we have a rotational spring, a shaft of moment of inertia j, and a sorry, a rotational damper, a rotary, a rotational spring, a shaft, and we apply a torque on this shaft, and we measure its angle as we rotate it. The, sim the same way that we applied conservation of uh, linear momentum, we can ap apply conservation of angular momentum here and to say that the sum of all the torques acting on that shaft would equal the moment of inertia j times the angular acceleration theta double dot. We can add up all the torques on that shaft, and we'll get the input torque tau in minus the torsional stiffness multiplied by the angle minus the damping multiplied by the angular velocity of that shaft equals j theta double dot. And then j theta double dot plus b theta dot plus k theta equals the input torque. So similarly, we have the same type of equation that we saw in the linear system, uh, the tran linear translational system. This system is also linear. It's a second order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. So you could envision that the solutions to this would look very similar to the solutions of the previous equation that we saw. Now let's also consider a uh, electrical system, and in this case a simple RC circuit with an input voltage Vn, a resistor R connected in series with a capacitor. There's a current I flows through it. Our input is the voltage N, and the output is the voltage across the capacitor. We can also, we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage laws to this circuit. And what we end up getting is that V in minus V R minus V C equal to zero. The sum of all the voltages along the circuit will be zero. So V in equals V C plus V R and V R as per Ohm's law, will equal the current 
times the resistance. So, we have V c plus for a capacitor the current would be given by the capacitance multiplied by the derivative of the voltage across the capacitor. So, V n would then equal V c plus R c V c dot, where V n is the input V c and R c, uh, R c is a constant and V c is the output that we are looking for. Here we have a first order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients. It's again very similar to the previous two examples that we uh, that we've seen, and again the solutions and methods to solving these are very similar to the previous cases. Similarly, we can also model thermal, pneumatic, fluidic, and even hydraulic systems using the same set of ideas and the same set of equations, and we'll end up getting uh, linear ordinary differential equations that can be easily solved either by hand or by using a computer. Uh, we all will also study uh, motors, devices that convert electrical into rotational uh, energy, and devices such as racks and pinions that convert uh, rotational into translational motion, as well as take a look at gears and gearboxes. The, this, this, these equations, these, all these systems generate the same types of mathematical expressions that can be easily solved, and we'll go into solving those in detail as well. Thank you.